Hello, hello everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. It is currently 2.02 p.m. I've spent the whole entire like first part of my day working on today's vlog. It is all done. We did the links, we did the thumbnail, and now we're just waiting for HD to process. So very happy about that. I do usually like to get my workout done right in the morning because anytime like later in the day, I'm just not motivated to do so, but I prioritize the vlog. I was like, I need to get my work done though also, and I can like work out later and just force myself to do it. So that's what we're gonna do. It is a cloudy day. It's about to start raining. It's gonna be raining the next two days. We've been getting so much clouds and rain. I don't know what's going on. Here and there, we'll get those like random summer days. Like if you guys watched my last vlog, my mom and I were um, planting flowers and stuff. Well, honestly, it ended up getting warm, but it was still like chilly, so I don't know. Randomly, we're getting these summer days, but most of the time it has been clouds and rain. It is Father's Day weekend, so Sunday is looking up. It's like 82, I think, and sunny, but I keep seeing it change from rain to sun, rain to sun, so hopefully at least Sunday will be nice. That's that's all we really are hoping for so that we can celebrate Father's Day with some sunshine. So I just got dressed real quick. I've been editing my pajamas. Zayn and I have a few errands to run. On Father's Day, we are hosting a brunch in the morning to celebrate with my dad and his stepdad. And then in the later half of the day, we'll like visit other parts of like the family, like Zane's dad and whatever, stuff like that. So we still have to like finalize plans, but we know that we are doing brunch in the morning. So we're gonna go to Costco today. I was like, let's make it a thing to go on Friday because I know Saturday's gonna be Madhouse and Sunday is Father's Day. So we're gonna get some eggs, bacon, pancake mix. I got like an Amazon pancake thing to like dispense them onto the Blackstone. We also need nice weather because I wanna cook on the Blackstone. Jerry is gonna bring some sort of like breakfast potato and we need to go get Father's Day cards. I need wrapping paper to wrap up my dad's gift. You guys will see in this vlog. I am so excited to give it to him. I don't think he's expecting it at all but Zane and I got him the same walking pad that I have because he's like commented on it before and I think he likes it and he loves to walk but with his job and everything and working in his garage he never finds time to like actually go outside and walk. So I think if he can get this set up with his work from home setup, he's gonna be so happy. So we need wrapping paper to wrap up that giant box in the garage. And then also next week we have Zane's little sister Aaliyah's high school graduation. So I wanna get her a card. So we'll go to the dollar store, get like Father's Day cards, wrapping paper, graduation card, Costco for the food. And Zane and I need to eat lunch. So I'm about to meet up with him. He just wrapped up teaching a music lesson. See if we're gonna probably just make a sandwich quick at home before we head out definitely should not go to Costco hungry. So we need to make some sort of food. That was a lot of information, but hopefully you guys are following along. So that's my beginning of the vlog rant. Now we can get it started. Let's go run our errands. We're gonna get our workout in. We have HelloFresh to cook tonight and it looks so good. And I wanna get up my burger taco reel, which won't take me long to edit. So that's the plan for today. Let's get it going. All right, I decided on some avocado toast. I ate some arugula, hot honey, some seasonings. Quick little avo toast before we go. Not really excited, because it looks so gloomy and nasty outside, but we're just gonna bang it out and get it done. We picked a bad day to go out, you guys. It is literally thunderstorming, like pouring rain. People are driving like nutsos. I don't know, we're just committed at this point. I was like, we can turn around and go home and go tomorrow, but I think today is a better idea. Tomorrow's Saturday, the day before Father's Day. People are gonna like, it's a Father's Day, so people are gonna want like grill and stuff. I feel like people are gonna want like barbecue food. And it's supposed to be a nice day on Sunday, so I think tomorrow on a Saturday would be recipe for disaster. So I think today we're just committing to it now. We're already out. We have made it out of Costco, you guys. I didn't even bring you in. That was like, it's like Twilight Zone today. Everyone is not paying attention. It's just hot mess express. So we ran in, got what we needed, a few little extra things. Everything's in the trunk. We'll show you when we get home. Now I'm at the Dollar Tree. I need to get some cards. You guys hear that thunder? It literally sounds like a car accident. It's so weird today. It's so, everything's so <laughs> weird. So quick run to the Dollar Tree, um, cards, wrapping paper, and then we're going home. We're done, so. Back at home, here's everything we got from Costco. We got lots of eggs. We're gonna do like a bunch of scrambled eggs for Sunday and then also we just needed eggs for the house, but I bet I'll probably use like at least one tray of these because scrambled eggs cook down to nothing for Sunday. And then we just got some turkey breast just to have for the house. These I'm gonna put in 
the pancakes. We got a massive bag of pancake mix. We probably did not need this much, but it's good to have. And it was like eight bucks for all of this. And you just add water. So sign me up. I'm going to do some plain, some chocolate chip. Oh my God, how funny. On the outside of the bag, there's blueberries and strawberries. I didn't even notice that. I'm going to do some with blueberries in them, some with strawberries in them. And then you guys already know these are our favorite things ever. We got some bacon for Sunday, just some chicken to have because we ran out of chicken. We go through this bread like it's freaking water, just six, four, seven slices. And I'm almost out of my udon. I have one left and I love these. So got those. And then from the Dollar Tree, I just got one roll of wrapping paper. I wanted two, but they only had one black. And I was like, this should wrap around the treadmill. Even if it doesn't, we'll just wrap one side and call it a day. Got Aaliyah's graduation card. They had some cute ones for a dollar. Got a few Father's Day cards. And we're approaching my sister's bridal shower. So I ordered some stuff today. And then also I just wanted some white streamer. And I saw this and I thought it was so cute for a dollar. She can wear a little bride head band they had some cute stuff there so that's everything that we got time to put it all away fun fun everything is put away we did a little bit of organization i made this strictly just like a little meat section for now it just depends on like how much we have of what and i feel like then things need to be moved around and then this is just kind of all like our little frozen nashi stuff i like that it's not like overflowing and we can actually see what we have and then this middle drawer is meats cheese and then this is fruits, but I have the strawberries and blueberries. I just washed them there in the sink. And then up here, we've got our HelloFresh, our condiments, got our little Lazy Susans. My mom left half a cantaloupe here. I told her to come pick it up. And then most of these eggs will be gone on Sunday. We've got our avocados, apples, bread, vegetables. What? Oh my god, what? Can I help all of you? Really, the apples, if I'm gonna move the fruit, should all go in here? I don't know. It needs to be addressed every time we go grocery shopping, I feel like. But we're getting there slowly. I do want to get... I was looking on... Oh my god, look at me from the rain. and oh, I was looking on TikTok for fridge organization, and I love those plastic clear things. Kind of like what I have, the bins, but they're drawers. I love that. So I think I might invest in some of those. But I was looking on Amazon the other day and they're kind of pricey and I was like, I don't need it right now. The fridge is fine. So one day when I feel the random urge, probably late at night or early in the morning, I'll hit order. <laughs> okay, this HelloFresh is calling my name. I'm so excited to make this, but first we're gonna get our workout in, which you've seen a million times. This is my last workout on this cycle and then my coach on Copilot switched it all up. So next week starting on Monday is all fresh workouts. So. I will show you guys that next week, but for now, I'm gonna go do the same HIIT workout that I've been doing for the last few weeks. So I'll see you guys after, and hopefully I get myself together because I've been looking like a hot mess in the last few vlogs. I am, I'm sorry. <laughs> workout complete, reel is up. We're in the cozies and we are ready to make some dinner. I've been looking forward to this all day. We are making HelloFresh easy breezy grilling cheesy with lemony couscous, grape tomatoes, and kale. It's literally cheese on top of couscous and kale and tomatoes like that sounds unreal it's gonna be so good so thank you so much to hellofresh for sponsoring today's video if you have never heard of them before they are a meal kit service and they send pre-portioned ingredients that are super fresh right to your doorstep with all the meals you get in your box you will get these amazing recipe cards they are basically foolproof so whether you like to cook or you don't like to cook you will be able to do this you've got all your ingredients on the front you've got your goal and on the back you've got your six easy steps and it tells you exactly what you need to take out as well and i mean it when i say it that every single meal that I've tried from HelloFresh has been unbelievable. It tastes like you are eating a five-star restaurant meal right at your dinner table. And if you watch my vlogs, you know how many HelloFresh meals I have had in my lifetime. It's a lot, especially now with the summer weather. All I wanna do is relax outside, enjoy the fresh air. And the last thing on my list is worrying about what we're gonna cook for dinner. So this just takes out all of the guesswork and it keeps you out of a recipe rut. Personally, I find that sometimes I fall into the same patterns of making the same things. And this teaches me so many new things. I actually use their techniques in my own cooking as well well and I feel like this is just something that I would never make. I love trying new foods and new recipes. I think it's so much fun. And they have 40 recipe options weekly. So there's lots of options. Even if you have a picky eater in your family, you'll find something for them. So I'm gonna run you guys through all of the ingredients. Like I said, everything is already measured out. So there's no food waste. And as you can see here at the bottom, we've got a five minute prep and a 30 minute cook. We're gonna be done in no time. Okay, I can't wait any longer. I'm hungry. Let's start cooking. Also, I will add that Zane and I do get the four-person serving because we like to have leftovers for lunch the next day. It's very convenient, so highly recommend if it's just two of you. 
definitely do that. So we've got 12 ounces of cheese, eight ounces of tomatoes, a lemon, an onion, two cloves of garlic, one cup of couscous, two little packets of veggie stock concentrate, two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, and four ounces of kale. Let's cook. Slice the onion thin, cut the tomatoes in half, zest the lemon, cut it into fours, mince the garlic, chop the kale up, and cut the cheese into eight pieces. We've got a skillet on medium with some oil. We're gonna put in the onions. Those are gonna go for eight minutes. We're gonna add salt and pepper. While that's going, we're gonna get our pot going for the couscous. We're gonna put that on medium with a little drizzle of oil. Into the onions, one third cup of water one teaspoon of sugar, and we're gonna let that go for like two to three minutes. It's gonna become kind of like a jam consistency. All right, we're working on the couscous at the same time. We're gonna add the couscous in. Half the Italian seasoning is going in the couscous, and also the garlic is going in the couscous. We're gonna give that a good stir. We wanna toast the couscous for a minute or two. Now we're ready to continue over here. We're gonna add a drizzle of oil, and then the kale is going in. That's gonna go five to seven minutes until the kale is a little bit wilted. I'm adding one and a half cups of water to the couscous and then also the veggie stock concentrate. We're also gonna bring it to a boil. Now we're gonna add our tomatoes. Salt and pepper. Couscous is boiling, we're gonna reduce that to a simmer. Six to eight minutes and we're gonna cover it. We're setting all the veggies aside and then we're gonna make the cheese. We're gonna lay down the Italian seasoning, one tablespoon of it, and then the cheese is gonna get pressed into it. So I'm just gonna lay it all out and we're gonna give it a nice coating. Don't forget the sides. Now we're just gonna fill in where we see fit. Okay, I feel like that's pretty good. Good drizzle of oil. Here we go. One to two minutes per side. Couscous is coming off the heat and we're gonna try to flip these. Yum. It's like a mozzarella stick. We're setting them aside. I'm turning off the heat. I feel as though I'm using the most wrong spatula ever. Oh my God, oh my God. Look at that cheese. It's probably so good. Now we're gonna take this off the heat and in is gonna go our couscous and also our veggies. I'm gonna give that a nice stir. Lemon zest and a nice big squeeze of lemon juice. A little bit of salt and pepper. This looks so good, I'm so excited. We're ready to plate. How cute. I've got our plates for tonight and our little containers for lunch tomorrow. So I'm just gonna now evenly distribute this couscous mixture. Then we've got two pieces of cheese on each. I'm actually gonna take these extra little crispy bits and break them up and kind of use them to top the dish because why not? I feel like if you reheat them, they would just burn and not be as good, so. Might as well eat them now. And lastly, a nice little lemon wedge on the side. Just kidding, we're moving shop. Started watching Jury Duty last night. To be honest, I started falling asleep, but Zane brought it up again, so I presume it was decent. I don't understand how this hallway is so small, but covers so many big rooms. It's like so convenient. Like two steps, I'm in the dining room. Oh uh, yeah. Oh. Why do they always have the corniest movies playing on here? What is this? We have, we have to be able to turn that off, that it plays something I as soon as we turn it, it on. I looked into it and I can't. Really? So the show was decent then? You liked it? I mean, to be fair, we only got to watch like about 18 minutes of it. I know, I started to fall asleep. I, yeah, I think like we should give it a chance. Okay. Let's do a taste test. Couscous? Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, the lemon, dude. Couscous always hits. I know. When I saw this, I was like, couscous and cheese? Sign us up. Mmm. Cheese is really good. What kind of cheese is it? Mots? Mm -mm. Don't tell me. It's like a Greek grilling cheese. Mm. Okay, I wasn't guessing that. Yeah. <laughs> like Greek grilling. 
Oh, it's good though. Oh, sign me up. I was a vegetarian today. Mm, I think me too. Huh, okay, let's go. Actually, no, I didn't. I had a hot dog. You had a hot dogs. <laughs> okay, cheers, we're gonna watch our show. As always, that did not disappoint in the slightest. So good, so fresh, the lemon zest, textures of everything, it was amazing. If you guys have not tried out HelloFresh yet, you definitely should, everything is so yummy. You guys can go to HelloFresh.com and use the code AlyssaRose16 at checkout for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Again, go to HelloFresh.com and use the code AlyssaRose16 at checkout for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Go check it out. All right, we got our snacks, having some Entenmann's cookies. All right, ice cream bars. And we're on episode like three. I am dying. This show is so funny. <laughs> it's on Amazon Prime. You guys have to watch it. It's called Jury Duty. Give it like two episodes and you'll get it. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. I'm just getting myself a little bit put together for the day. Last night, we just watched our show in bed and went to sleep. We were watching Jury Duty. It is hysterical, you guys. We only have like three episodes left. They're like 25 minutes each. And it's so funny. It's like my type of like just dry humor. I just think it's such a funny show. So I highly recommend. I have a bunch of random things that I wanna get done today, plus cleaning since we are doing the Father's Day brunch tomorrow. So I just have like miscellaneous things on my list that I've been wanting to do. And I'm like, today's kind of like a free-ish day. So I racked up those things on my to-do list and we're gonna get them done. Today actually turned out nice. It was supposed to be like nasty and rainy like yesterday. The sun is shining, it's beautiful out. So we have a few things I wanna do outside we have those pool floats I want to blow up. I would love to sit outside and read a little bit on this Saturday. And then I have a bunch of like miscellaneous things that I've been wanting to do. And today is kind of like a free day. So I compiled them all on a list on my phone. Um, first of all, tomorrow was Father's Day. So we have to prep for that. We are hosting a brunch. So I need to wrap up my dad's gift, write the cards. Um, we have our old refrigerator in the garage. So I want to get that all cleaned out, take some pictures of it, put it up to sell. I'm looking at my to-do list. There are some random paint stains on our floors throughout like this floor of the house um, that I want to steam mop off that every time I see them, I go to vacuum them on Sunday cleaning and I'm like, oh, that's a paint stain. So I'm going to steam all those up. I want to organize a few of the kitchen cabinets and the sideboard piece that we have in the dining room. It is hot mess. It's just become like a dumping ground. So I definitely want to go through that. I ordered tape for our AC in the window in our bedroom because I feel like air is kind of seeping through. So I want to tape up the air conditioner. I would love to order a rug for our living room because the one we have right now is way too small. We have HelloFresh leftovers so I don't have to worry about cooking today. We'll have that for like lunch and then dinner we'll do like a whatever. Maybe I'll have like tilapia or something easy. And that's everything on my list. We'll see what else we get into. Um, it's only 9.23 in the morning, so I'm gonna get these things done so I can chill outside. I've just been waiting for a day like this where the house is like majority cleaned up so I can do all these random little tasks that I never get to on cleaning day. So let's do it. This is exciting. Look who I just got PR from. Bondi Sands. Self-tan PR. This is so on brand. Sign me up. Maybe we'll try one of these. I actually was planning on tanning tonight. Probably do this one. Magenta, Deep Tone, One Hour Express. They sent all of their shades though. Maybe I'll try them out. We'll give this a gozy tonight and see how it goes. And there's a little mitt in here. That's so cute. Thank you, Bondi Sands. This is so exciting. Outfit, I'm just wearing like a white tank and then just some like comfy gray lounge pants. That's the vibe for today. It's nice out, but it's a little chilly in our house because we sleep with the air conditioner on, so. All right, let's get the wax melts refreshed for tomorrow. I'm gonna put the fresh wax in them, but I'm not gonna turn them on until tomorrow morning. They need a little refresh. Set a timer for 15 minutes, cold wax melts. Nice. Let's get some light going in this house. It's nice and sunny today. Take advantage of it. Gorgeous. And we have laundry to do. Overflowing a little bit. It's time for laundry. Kitchen needs a little bit of tidying from last night. We 
We can also go ahead and start the dishwasher. Off to a great start today. Clean. Like what is even happening over here? <laughs> it's just shoes and slippers. And a fish. Don't forget the fish. The sink is on. Maybe she just wants pets. No, she keeps doing that and then running to the sink. She wants pets on the sink? Yeah, that's her spot. You helping me? Okay. That was a lot more satisfying than I thought it was going to be. This tape is amazing. I got it from Amazon. And I feel like it just blocked all the little air holes that I was feeling. Did good, Bench. You can't fit on top of there. Don't even try. Next up, we're downstairs. Look at me. I'm bringing the tape down and putting it away. Let's combine this one. Oh, jeez. Put that one there. This can move over and go right there. Okay. Let's wrap up Dad's gift. Let's go into our nice little thing here. We got the wrapping paper yesterday. Let's get some tape. I doubt that we'll need scissors because this box is huge. <laughs> Okay, I just went ahead and moved it against this wall. I'm just gonna wrap it here and then he can just come in the garage and unwrap it. It's obviously heavy and he'll just have to bring it out the garage and put it into his truck anyway. So might as well just leave it in here. What? Okay, well, I know he wouldn't care if there was wrapping paper on it or not, so I'm just gonna use these like little scrap pieces I have to cover up what it actually is. And then I have this little bow and we could put it on top and that'll be great. <laughs> oh, what a fail. Wait, it kind of looks cute. <laughs> not bad for working with what I got. And you already know I am giving him the dinosaur poster tomorrow, so you guys will see his reaction. I just posted it on my Instagram story, but I don't think he really goes on Instagram stories, so hopefully he doesn't see it. And I'm gonna say, yeah, I got you that too. <laughs> but it looks kinda cute. It looks like a present now, at least, not just a cardboard box. Oh God, okay, anyways, moving on. I'm actually gonna write his card too and just stick it on there so that it's done. We got cards for all the dads. Um, I was gonna give him this one. It's got all the tools on it and it's really cute, the saying, if you guys wanna read it. There you go, there you go. I thought it was sweet. Okay, next on the list is to get this fridge in good shape. I have to open up the garage so we can open the doors and I can actually get into it and stuff, but I'm just gonna wipe everything down, make sure it's nice and clean, take some pictures. I guess being in the hot garage, it literally grew mold. <gasps> I mean, I guess if I clean it, it's safe, right? Oh my god, that's so gross. How are we supposed to sell this? It's gonna keep growing mold? Or because it was wet? Okay, I'm just gonna clean this out. Ew! I'm gonna spray the shit out of this thing. My bad, guys. I already closed the garage before I showed you the final product, but it's all cleaned out now. I put on gloves and I got down and dirty. Actually, I can open it and show you a little bit. There we go. Much better. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave it open. That's probably why. You guys are yelling at me like, Alyssa, open the fridge, keep it open. All right, air. Air is gonna flow in there now. Moving on, being productive. Next on the list is I want to steam mop the paint stains off of the floor, but first the house needs a quick vacuum before I even go and do that. But if you can see like over here, there's like little paint 
on the floor and it looks like the floor is like dirty but it's just paint stains so there's definitely a lot in the dining room i never did it in here there's some in our bedroom in the closet room Vacuuming done, quick pause before I do the steam cleaner, switch the laundry. I'm gonna not get a blister this time on my finger, I'm gonna be careful. We are done with that. It is time to break for lunch. I have some stuff in the fridge that I want to use up. I don't know why my lettuce is already going brown, so we're definitely gonna make a salad. I'm gonna squeeze some lime juice on the lettuce. I've got my piece of tilapia. I just made it in the air fryer. I'm gonna chop up some onion. A little bit of onion. I'm gonna have some tortilla chips on the side and eat it with them. I cut up a few little grape tomatoes and I'm just squeezing some lime juice on those for a little color. I don't really have many ingredients to make a salad right now, so this is what we're working with. I have avocados, but none of them are ready, so. I am so excited to try this. Cilantro lime sauce. I'm gonna put that on top. Some Cholula, of course. Oh, I guess I could have did some like corn or beans let me see if i have corn all right i got some black beans out of the pantry i'm gonna heat these up quick and i'm gonna put these on here as well some black beans i did them for 30 seconds in the microwave i guess that was too much because they kind of like started to blow up yeah that turned out pretty good i would usually put sour cream but i'm gonna have the cilantro lime sauce i want to try that on its own all right i got the setup going on i'm gonna read a little bit while i eat let's give it a taste oh hold on i want to put something on top i'm gonna top it with some tahini Mm. There's a lot of flavors going on, but I'm trying to try the trying to try trying to try the cilantro sauce. It's good. Would buy again. Mm. I was gonna have my HelloFresh leftovers, but I was like, I'll be really happy with myself if I save that for dinner later. <laughs> so I'm saving that for later and having this now. These tortilla chips are actually left over from a HelloFresh meal. They have sesame in them, so they can't eat them, but they're delicious. On to the next. Let's go blow up our new pool floats for tomorrow. Yay! These came with a pump. So I'm gonna use it. There we go. I have another one of these too from the other pool float company, Fun Boy, that sent me stuff. These are from Mini Dip. And they both sent me a pool pump, like a float pump. And when I needed to blow up the other ones, I literally went to Harbor Freight and bought like an $80 air compressor. But we'll need that for our bikes anyway to fill up the tires. But I just think it's funny that I literally didn't need it at that moment. It's fine, now we have one. Okay, here we go. Beach ball. Oh, got it. Fun, but I feel like that pump took forever. My air compressor would be way faster unless I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> Fun, ready for a pool party. Okay. I think I figured out the pump. It's just a little slow. This is so cute. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. It looks so cute. I'm taking the last big one to the garage to blow up with the air compressor. Never mind, all my attachments are in the shed, so we're going back outside. <laughs> My goodness, took forever. Oh, so cute. I'm obsessed. Okay, I'm gonna take another quick pause at home and go on a bike ride. My neighbor asked me to go on a bike ride. How cute is that? I always wondered if when I had a house one day, if I would like talk to my neighbors, if I would, you know, be friends with them, whatever. And I just think this is so wholesome. So we're gonna ride up to Ralph's Italian Ice and get a little ice midday treat. 
I'm gonna go change into some biker shorts though because it is getting hot. I'll be back. I am back for my little bike ride. We went to Ralph's. It was so nice. So, so sweet of her. And I was about to take advantage of the weather because it was so nice on the bike ride, but it is about to come down again. It was nice out for most of the day, but the thunder is thundering. Check it out. It is so dark outside now. I feel it's starting to come down. I turned off the pool filter, but hey, my plants are gonna get watered. <laughs> Look at my pool floats, they're so cute, ready for tomorrow. All right, it's 5.30. I think we'll uh, do a little bit of organizing, take a little shower, call it a night, have some dinner, leftovers. I was gonna be like, ah, forget organizing, I'm gonna go read my book outside, and then I heard thunder. This cabinet right here is one of the ones that I have been wanting to organize. It's not like horrible, and I like everything that's in here. It just needs to be like tidied up. So I'm gonna take everything down. This is actually so much space in here. Okay, all these napkins, this spoon holder that I bought and never used. Would it look cute over here? It's kind of cute. It's large. These are air fryer liners that we had over here, but the air fryer's over here, so I feel like maybe we should move that to this side. This is our Costco stash of gum. So I think we can put that over here. This has one piece in it, good. I actually do need a pack for my car. I like the green one, so I'll take that one. Why are there so many half open gums? Like it's Zane and I in this house and sometimes it still amazes me how things happen. I'm like, how? There's no one left to blame but us. Okay, this can go. This is wrapped, I'll go in the back. Look at all this, what's the purple one? Oh, that one's upside down. I fixed it. Purple? Winter fresh. I've never seen that one. Interesting. And we got these. Okay, we are like stocked on gum, but that looks so much better already. Um, these have people's names in them. That means they're so crusty. Why are they in here? Garbage. We have one solo cup left. I asked my mom to bring them for tomorrow because clearly we need them. Air fryer liners. We can actually condense this even more if we push these back here. And then this, that can sit on top keep them in place. These can sit in front. Okay, cool. The coins are random, I will admit, but that's just where they're gonna stay for now. The napkins are fine. Up there is candles, masks, and that's it. And the Febreze things. I'm gonna try to keep you guys here to catch this thunder because it is insane. Yesterday when Zane and I were driving, we literally thought we got into a car accident. That's how loud it was. It sounded like someone hit us. It just happened, so let's see if I can catch the next one. You scared me. Sorry. Just turn around and saw your, your hood up. I'm in my bag. This is a cool kid's What the fuck is going on? Did you hear that? Yeah, it's not. Why all of a sudden are we getting so much thunder? It's so loud. Don't you feel like we haven't had thunder for like a long ass time and all of a sudden we have like two back to back days? The three, whatever it is? So it's been thunder. It's been thunder snowing a lot. Oops. Do you like where everything is? Yeah, I don't really have any. Wait, wait, wait. Thunder might come. Lightning or something? Is it after lightning thunder? Um, I don't know. Like what? Dude, it's shaking our house. That sounds like a war. <laughs> Wait, did you just teach me some sauce? That's insane. Lightning and then thunder happens? Yeah, lightning and then thunder. Like all the time? No, that can't be. Usually, yeah, thing. that's how it happens. That was crazy, right guys? Wow, our house shook. In other news, look at my cabinet. It looks so much better. Everything's subject to change, but we have just stuff everywhere. I'm trying to make sense of it. Down here is like a mishmash of stuff. <laughs> we have like baking dishes up there, some random pots and pans down here. Those are for the Blackstone, which I have a section for all of our grilling stuff. Over here is all of our grilling accessories, but those top things don't fit in here, so I think they just have to stay over there, which is like, Fine, I guess. Down here, I do like. We have the KitchenAid and all the attachments and stuff for that, and the toaster, and then the salad spinner. The toaster I like here because we take it out, put it right on this counter, and then plug it in here, and then it's really easy to like put right back away. So I like it there. Benji's not phased. Listen, Benj. It literally was just so gorgeous out on the bike ride. That's crazy. This cabinet is also a mess, but I feel like it's an organized mess, question mark. I forget how much room we have that's been taken up by random shit. These are 
aprons, cookbooks, and all that stuff. These are like random like linens. And then these are like glass containers, which I can condense. This is a chopper that I've been meaning to try and I keep forgetting that I have it, so I need to move it somewhere else. And these are our HelloFresh cards for the meals that we have in the fridge. And then these are the tops for these containers. Okay, okay, good. I feel like since we have some linens in here, and there was still some in the thing in the dining room in the sideboard. I'm gonna take them from there and move them all in here. These are for seasonings. I've had that in the cabinet for so long. I just never used it. But I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's too big. I can put it upstairs. I don't know. I don't know. I literally bought it so long ago. It's been sitting in that random cabinet. Look. Like how long ago? Like years or like? No, like when we moved into the house. Look. Oh, nice. Better. I'm giving you a stack of napkins for downstairs. Yeah, I keep forgetting. To yeah. Them. And then I have a sticker job for you. <laughs> Get these stickers like, off. Sticker? Yeah. Linens all in one spot. That makes sense. These are like table runners, tablecloths. Okay. I actually have tablecloths I'm gonna put there. All the linens are in one spot. Is that weird to keep these in the kitchen? I don't know. We'll decide. Really, I should get on my stool and organize that top shelf as well, but that's a project for another day. I'm not doing that right now. I feel like this is better. I had this drawer open for two seconds and somehow they always find the peacock feathers from when we went to the animal thing in Texas. How do you always find them so quick? You must smell them or something, I don't know. Okay, these drawers have also been a mess. I think I wanna make one for batteries. I feel like that's helpful. However, I do have this stuff for when we wanna put the shelf back in the bottom and I wanna keep that in here so that I know exactly where it is. So it's gonna stay right there, but all the batteries can go in here. Okay, they're all just falling out, we're doing good. I went to get some organizers for the batteries and then I got a little distracted. So down here, so far, I've decided that over here is gonna be vases because I never know where to put my flower vases and I actually want some like nice pretty ones that I really like, so now I'll actually have a spot to put them. This is just extra alcohol, which honestly we can put downstairs by the bar. So that'll probably come out as well. This will be for vases. This is an extra piece of our countertop and technically it can be a cutting board. So I'm curious if I can bring that outside and leave it outside and then I can use it as a cutting board for outdoor stuff. That would be cool. Food for thought. This one over here is more alcohol kind of stuff. We have all of our shot glasses, which I wanna get like something to display them down in the basement by the bar. So until then, this is where they live. And then some drink mixers. And then these are the Bartesian pods, which we have to find a spot for that as well. An extra shaker, just some random stuff in here. So that's that. This drawer is gonna be my stuff that I wanna do like things with. I wanna put them in vases or like frame them, whatever. I have some more of them in the laundry room that I'm gonna put in here from the vase that was sitting here that Benji broke. I have those pompous grass leaves still and I wanna do something with them, but they're like just sitting everywhere. They never had a home. So they're gonna live in here so I know exactly where my things are that I wanna do stuff with. <laughs> and then this drawer at the end is full of receipts, papers, all of our folders from when we viewed wedding venues. There's a ton of like just papers in here. When we have like a coupon or something, it just gets shoved in there. So that could definitely be gone through, but I am happy with this progress because I feel like I just didn't know what was where. So now I feel like I know that this is batteries. I know that these are my things and I know that that's papers and coupons, extra alcohol stuff and my vases will be in here. Okay. I also found a Ziploc bag with other stuff from this piece of furniture. So I went ahead and put those pieces in there. Perfect, that'll live with the batteries, that's fine. And now we've got some extra organizers from the Amazon set that I bought. I'm just gonna put the little sticky guys on the bottom. Although it is felt, so I guess I really don't need to do that now that I think about it. This one will be for like the little round batteries. Oh, found a quarter. Now I know where my coin jar is, so I can go put it in there. Then we can do double A. And we've got triple A. And Zane accidentally ordered quadruple A when we needed triple A, so I don't know. I've never heard of these before. I don't know what we would ever use these for. <laughs> but now we have them. Actually, I might as well put them in their own little thing. Why not? And then we've got nine volt. And we have a rechargeable one. Oh, I love this. This feels so much better. All of our batteries in one place and there's room for growth. 10 out of 10. Okay, I've got my pompous. Hopefully it fits in here. Please. We're gonna make it fit. 
perfect. Maybe when we get the built-ins in the living room installed, I can do something with all this stuff. Oh, the cats are gonna be all over that, aren't they? Can't have nothing nice. Can't have nothing nice around here. I also just found these like random hooks and like little suction cup thingies. So that's gonna go in this battery drawer as well. I feel like this can be like useful items that you don't reach for all the time, but you'd be like, where is that? That can go in here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, final look. I am so happy with this progress. We've got the batteries and the other little miscellaneous things. We've got the stuff for the built-ins and I went ahead and organized this as well. There was so much stuff in here. I took out all the venues that we are not choosing. The only one that's in here is our actual venue for when we need to choose the food and everything. So I know exactly where it is. The other ones we'll probably put in like up in a closet somewhere. Cause I don't know, I don't want to get rid of them yet. Uh, these are food menus. This is just like important stuff, like the stuff for our pool, the stuff for our fridge. These are random comedy show tickets that I never used. So I've been, I just have been holding on to them. They don't expire. So whenever we find ourselves wanting to go to a comedy show in the city, and this is a random door stopper that is just sitting there. Actually, this should go in the, the stuff I don't touch that often drawer, but where would it be? Perfect. Oh. I feel better. All right, I think the last thing on my list for today, because I'm about ready to call it quits, is in our junk drawer, all the things that have accumulated that need to go into our workshop. So all the little screws, Allen keys, rubber bands can stay, but all the little stuff like this, gotta go. I'm gonna move the command hooks to our battery and hook drawer. Look what I just got for tomorrow. I got a pancake dispenser. I'm so excited about this. Look how cute. That's exciting. And then it says that the lid for it can be used as a drip tray in between so it doesn't get all dirty. I'm gonna wash this so we can use it tomorrow. Okay, we got so much good stuff done today. We've got a nice clean house. We've got an organized thing in there. We vacuumed, we got the paint off the floor. We're ready for tomorrow. I do have three loads of laundry to put away, but that might happen tomorrow. And that basket has to go upstairs. But other than that, we are prepped. It is time for my HelloFresh leftovers. I'm so excited. And then after I'm done eating, I'm gonna take a nice exfoliating shower, get on a fresh tan and relax in bed. It is already 7.40. I am pooped. We did a lot today. So happy, I love leftovers. I've got my book set up, nearing the end. I don't know if I'm gonna finish tonight, but maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Why not turn on the hatch, get the vibes going, pull down the shades. Happiness, oh, the sippy. That's the worst, right? It's not that far though. Okay, here we go. Now we're ready. Craving an acai bowl with almond butter. Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. Happy belated Father's Day to all the dads out there. I got out of the shower last night after exfoliating, and after I do that, I like to let my skin like sit in lotion before I tan for at least an hour for my pores to close and everything. And then I got into bed and I was like, I'm so tired. And then I was like, hold on. The Bondi Sands one that I showed you guys yesterday, the PR package that I got, was a one hour express. I'm like, why don't I just put that on in the morning? I'm gonna stay in it all day anyway, cause that's, I always soak in my tanner for like 24 hours. So I was like, perfect. So I woke up this morning and I put that on and I am already so impressed. You guys know me and my tanner. I am like a connoisseur. I love myself tan. And this one, was the most buttery formula I've ever put on. It literally spread on like lotion. I feel like it's not gonna be patchy anywhere because it literally spread so evenly. It was so blendable and I love the color. I took a picture on my iPhone, so I'll put it here. You can really tell. I put like one arm next to the other with tan and without tan. It already looks so good. So I'm so happy because you know, when you get a fresh tan on, that means it's gonna be a good day. 
I am using this hair stick from Amazon. I used it last week and I loved it. You do have to wash your hair after because it leaves such a residue, but it keeps your hair down flat. Like I have a lot of flyaways and all of a sudden I have breakage in the front. Like my two front pieces are like really short and they bother me so bad. They just get in my face and today we're gonna be outside. We're gonna be cooking. We're gonna be in the hot weather. I don't need my hair in my face. I just want it slicked back and out of the way. So I am gonna slick back my hair for today. It is only like a little after 8.30 in the morning, so we have plenty of time. Family is coming at 11.30 for like a breakfast brunch. I just wanted plenty of time to prep. We have to put out all the cushions. We have to cut up the fruit for the pancakes. I'm going to make three different types of pancakes. I want to scramble all the eggs in a bowl. We have to make the bacon, and I want to start cooking before they even get here so that the food is like ready when they get here. So it's going to be such a fun day. It's so beautiful out, and I'm excited. Gotta make sure I definitely get the front pieces. Yeah, it's not going nowhere. Bean head. <laughs> oh, also, I don't know if you guys can see, but I put in my pizza earring studs for my dad because he loves pizza and it's Father's Day, so we're having a little fun today. I love that. <laughs> we're gonna start the day off right and take all of my things. I literally put every single one on my to-do list so I can check it all off because I just need, my brain needs to. Wow, it is a gorgeous sunny day. Thank goodness. I. Oh, so happy. I just want to spend time outside. I've been wanting to use the Blackstone for a brunch with our family for so long. I've only really cooked like dinners on it. So we'll see how this turns out. But I just think it's so fun. Like all the pancakes and the eggs and the bacon. It's just like fun to cook that on the Blackstone. I'm done with my antibiotics for my cyst. It's pretty much gone, I think. Almost. I have to keep doing the hot cup press on it. I just went to bring some stuff upstairs and brought down some drinks that we had in the fridge up there. My parents are bringing over a cooler today for us because I'm a terrible homeowner and we don't have a cooler to put outside. And I'm like, we don't need to make people go in and out to get a drink. So we'll fill that up with ice. I have some white claws upstairs in the fridge. I found a high noon. It's all like leftovers from like things that we've had. Cranberry juice, some Arizona. So I'll put them in our fridge here for now and then we'll fill up a cooler for outside. I need to get a cooler though. That needs to be like next on my list for when hosting. That's important for the summer. I can actually fit a lot of these in the fridge, so that's good. We also have the whole downstairs fridge, which is basically our drink fridge. We have Coke Zeros we got at Costco the other day. We have water bottles and stuff, so we'll just bring a bunch of stuff up and put it in the cooler. All right, I'm gonna prioritize getting the backyard all set up. I'm gonna put out the cushions, turn on the pool filter. Our neighbors are already bumping music, I love it. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous out. Oh, it's the perfect day, yay! <laughs> and our pool is looking clear, thank goodness. Look at all the floats, how fun. Do you guys hear their music? It's like Caribbean music. Sounds fun. Maybe we should put like a little opening here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Too many spiders. Oh, it's been an hour. It's been an hour for my tan. I'm gonna leave it on all day, but she looks gorgeous. I should go get some sunglasses, but taking out the cushions is a stressor to me because I have arachnophobia and they're everywhere. That, there's a big fat one on those that I just took out. Nah, that's gonna be a zane job. <laughs> jump scare you guys be prepared i actually got ready today who is she 
I have I feel amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I need to I need to find somewhere in between my makeup era and my no makeup era because when I actually do it, I do feel really nice. But also I love myself without it. So we're just gonna find a balance. Lately it's been too much no makeup and like I then I just fell out of the habit of doing my makeup at all. Like I was going to like events and and like things without putting makeup on at all. I went to a concert. I actually went to two concerts recently and didn't put on makeup. Or maybe I did just like my brows and mascara, but still, it's like usually I would do this for a concert. Hello? Happy Father's Day. I just got into my bathing suit because it's nice and hot out. We're gonna have a nice pool day. I'm gonna be cooking and sweating. So I'm like, might as well just be in my bathing suit all day. I tried to pick a somewhat conservative one because we're gonna be with the fam. So I didn't go super cheeky and I needed to wear black because I'm still soaking in my tanner. But we did good. We got on our little words project bracelets. I love them. I'm not gonna do the Apple Watch today. I'm just gonna let it go. I'm not wearing it. And we're just gonna enjoy this Sunday. So bathing suit is Target. It's definitely a little small, but it's fine. And then this is an Amazon cover up. Yay! I feel so ready for the day now. I'm excited. I watched an old video of mine the other morning and I was like, I look nice when I actually put a little effort into myself and put on some makeup. And I inspired myself. And literally it took me 25 minutes to do this whole face. Like that's, that's good. It's gonna probably melt off in the sun, but it's fine. Next on the list is we have to package up Zane's stepdad's gift. You guys saw I already packaged up my dad's yesterday. We got him a little card. And then also for all the dads, we got some lotto tickets. Sorry. I'm gonna put those in some of the cards as well. And then for Zane's stepdad, we couldn't think of anything. Like I'm, I love gift giving. So I love to give something like unique or something they didn't think of or something they mentioned once and didn't realize I wrote it down. And we did that for Christmas. He mentioned that um, he wanted like a nice pillow. Or when, oh, when we were moving, he felt our purple pillows and he loved them. So we got him that for Christmas and he was so surprised and loves it. And I couldn't think of anything else. And I was really upset with myself, but it's fine. I'm like, who doesn't love gift cards? So we got him a smorgasbord. We got Lowe's, Burger King, Taco Bell, Chipotle, McDonald's. Perfect for like his lunch breaks. He's a mechanic, so he can just go run, get himself some lunch. And him and my dad are always at Lowe's or Home Depot or Harbor Freight. They live there, so yay! And some scratch offs, like I'd be happy if I got this, honestly. <laughs> so I'm trying to think of a way to like package it nicely. I think I'll just wrap up all the gift cards in some tissue paper, like individually. So it gives him something to open, I feel like, and then put it in like a gift bag. All right, literally so happy because I was like, I know I have a dad bag and it says best dad ever. That's Zane's stepdad's name is ever. How cute. It works out perfect. And I found a bunch of like fun tissue paper. His favorite color is red. So I can wrap some stuff in that too. So fun. Oh, I should write the amounts. Okay. I'm gonna bring out some sunscreen and the speaker for music so everyone's got it. I can leave the sunscreen like right here so people can use it. And then we got our speaker for the music. I can go right here. It is time to start prepping the food. We're doing pancakes, three types, chocolate chip, strawberry, blueberry, I think I told you guys that already. Jerry is bringing some sort of breakfast potatoes and then we're gonna do scrambled eggs and bacon. So it's gonna be a whole thing. So I'm gonna cut up the strawberries for the strawberry ones into little pieces. I am so excited to make pancakes on Blackstone. This is gonna be my first time. I was looking up TikToks of it yesterday and I was like, my mouth was watering. I was like, oh my God, I need pancakes. But I was like, I gotta wait until tomorrow. And so I'm really excited. We have real maple syrup. It's gonna be so good. It's a big strawberry. I'm gonna get a bowl to start putting them in. Oh, can I be using that chopper thing for this? Oh my God, I think I'm gonna try it. Should we try it? I think this will work. So we still need this to cut the tops off. If I cut the strawberry in half and put it there. Shut up! Oh my God! <laughs> This is about to save me so much time. I usually don't really care for kitchen gadgets. I feel like I'd rather just do it by hand, but this? Oh my God, sign me up. I 
I think this thing like pushes it through if it gets stuck. Yep. Oh my God. <gasps> I love it. Okay, that's more than enough strawberries. It's probably too many, but it's fine. I wish I had more things to chop, but I don't. 10 out of 10, love it. Okay, might as well make the blueberries look cute too. Ah, they're going everywhere. It's 11, 11, make a wish. I wish these pancakes come out good. All right, now we got the chocolate chips. There's like nothing left in here. Okay, little mini guys. Here's what we want. Yeah. These are all staying inside until we're ready to go out because it is hot. I think we should do pancakes and eggs. How am I gonna do this? Um, okay. So, this is too many, but this isn't enough. So I think I'm just gonna double this, or triple it actually. I'm gonna triple this one. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's double. Okay, so two more. One, two. Okay, now we need to do the math on the water. Uh, one and one third, and we tripled it. What's one and one third of a cup times three? Is that right? Oh yeah, I guess that's right, because one times three is three, and then one third times three is one cup, so four cups. Okay, four cups of cold water. I just don't want to mess all this up. <laughs> Just add water messes it up. That would be me. One, two, three, four. Now I read, do not overmix. I don't really ever make pancakes, so this is like foreign language to me and it kind of reminds me of baking, which I'm not good at. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna see what Zane thinks if it's too thick because he makes pancakes. Next is the eggs, which I fear I'm just gonna keep getting shells in here, but we're gonna try our best. Oh, we're moving with confidence. We're doing good. Wow. Do you like them? Yeah, I love them. Oh, guys, look, he's got on the Walmart shorts. Um, well, I like the fuck that. Oh, take off the Crocs. I <laughs> my Crocs. Cute. I love it. Thank you. Out for the day? Out for the day, Walmart, Fashion Nova, Amazon. Wow, we love On a, budget. a budget king. Are you ready for me? Yeah. Okay. You can scramble. Uh, actually, can you just go do the cushions quick and then come back? I don't want to forget about those. I did like 22 or 23 eggs. I think that's enough. And my dad likes fried eggs, so he won't even eat the scrambled. Okay. Put these back in the fridge. Give them a good salt and pepper. I've never salted this many eggs, so hopefully it's good. People can always edit after. And we'll give them a whisk. <laughs> We're doing good, look at us go. Did you see the spider? No, but real quick, oh. you just wanted them from the diving board. Onto the, by the, by the pit. Yeah, that's it. Tell me what you think of this pancake batter. I don't really ever make pancakes, so I don't know if it's too thick, but I did the instructions. Might need a little more water. You know, that definitely looks too thick. All right, put a little cold water in there and make it good. <laughs> Zane has come to the rescue. Okay, better? I think so. Better batter. I mean, the other way, Swing. it would have been fluffier, but oh, okay. it would have been like a pain in the ass because we have to make so many on the grill. Okay. So I feel so, like we'll make them thinner. Okay, let's try my thing now. I'm so excited. Do you want to use a whisk to like scoop it in there? Um, I got it in there. I guess. But you want to hold it and I'll do it? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, okay. Here, I got it. Okay. <laughs> this is crafty of us. So crafty. It's probably good, right? You don't want to overfill it. Okay. stay in here wow and look this is the top but it acts as a catch so it doesn't drip that's awesome cute all right i think we're pretty prepared i'm gonna start bringing everything outside and there goes our towels for the pool i put this away so people think we made them homemade <laughs> just kidding
still part of the game. They running five drills, I'm off for the chain, and I'm high still. Looking like Scorpion, get over here. Been some people trying to relate, ain't close to here. Think it ain't a safe place, you done missing. Turpin relationships just ain't been worth it. Fool if you Alright, we're giving Dad his Father's Day <laughs> present. <laughs> this is your gift. What the heck? <laughs> Look at that. Why are you wrapped it? <laughs> I have a disclaimer. I bought this and I thought it was wrapping paper. Open it. I thought it was wrapping paper. Never make fun of me. As a poster. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. I shifted. So if you peel off the top, then you'll know what it is. Just peel off the top and I'll know what yeah. it is. Yeah. Look at that big one. <laughs> oh, you got me one of those. The walking pad. <laughs> Work yeah. Home, I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. You thought it was a tool? <laughs> He's no, like, damn it. Like, Thank you You're welcome. You're welcome. Mom's gonna help you with the setup. Raise your screens. That's gonna be her gift. We gotta go on Amazon. The and stuff pick to. Out yeah. The thing yeah. Yeah. We're gonna be up here, and your shit's gonna be up here. Yeah. I have, <laughs> I have the machine. I have it at work. I can just bring it home. Oh. I don't even use it. What? At work. I have oh. the thing that raises the computers and screens. At home. Oh, there you wow. go. Yeah. You don't have to get him again. They do it so that you can stand up and work <laughs> once in a while and sit once in a while. Yeah. yeah. But I'll never raise it. Perfect. Oh, I didn't know you had that at work. Yeah. Perfect. Go, Dad. Woo! <laughs> Watch. Yay! How's it feel? Good. Hello everyone. <laughs> my makeup is off right here from my sunglasses, but we had such a nice day. It was so relaxing, so fun. Um, everyone left a little while ago. Zane and I just sat on the couch and watched an episode of Jury Duty because it's so funny and we have two episodes left and we're gonna finish it later. But we sat out by the pool. I tried to film cooking on the Blackstone and I kept hitting record and then I, I was like in the middle of cooking and stuff and Zane was helping me and we were like talking and there was a lot going on. And then I realized that my battery kept dying. And I was like, why is my camera keep turning off? I thought you guys were like overheating or something and you guys were on fire. So probably not very good for my camera, but then I realized that the battery was dying. So I got you guys switched and then we got to film a little bit. We hung out by the pool, just chatted. The food came out so good. Pancakes were delicious. We still have some food left, some scrambled eggs and some pancakes and like three pieces of bacon. We did pretty good, but it was such a nice time. So we're gonna go see Zane's dad now. We spent some time with my dad and we're gonna have some Pakistani food for dinner. I'm still pretty full from all of that food and we were like snacking throughout the day too. So we probably won't eat for a couple hours anyway by the time we get there and whatever. Aliyah braided my hair, let me show you. She did a cute French braid. Hopefully you guys can see it. <laughs> but it looks so cute. My hair is like dirty and she did it to my mom and I was like, I want one. So perfect. So I'm gonna touch up my makeup. I'm gonna do a quick body shower because I put on a lot of lotion and I was still in my tanner and my like uh, suntan lotion gets like sticky, you know? So do a quick body shower and we'll get ready to head out. <sighs> Everything worked out. The pancakes were so yummy. They were so good. And the kitchen is pretty clean, so I'm happy. All of our cushions are still out, but actually, you know what? I'm gonna go out there and just, the ones on these chairs, it's not gonna rain anytime soon, but I'm gonna put the umbrella down and put these cushions up. If we just put them like that, so at least they can't get dirty, you know? We'll just stick them up. All righty, ladies and gents, I'm dressed. I'm gonna put on my shoes while I show you my outfit. I went with Urban Outfitters tank. Lulu belt bag. I honestly don't remember where these sunglasses are from. They might be Amazon. And then I Amazon men's linen pants. I love these. 10 out of 10. And I'm gonna wear my Burks. We're going to Zane's dad's house. So we're not going anywhere like to a fancy dinner. So super cash, comfy. Fix the makeup real quick. And I just left my hair in the braid that Aaliyah did. And I tried to clip back my little pieces back here. Hello. Um, fail. Didn't film anything, but we just went and had dinner and chatted for a bit. Now we're back home. We're with all our babies. Babies. And we're about to finish the last two episodes of Jury Duty and I'm so excited. I want to take off my makeup, get into my PJs, and call it a night. Ooh, looking like I've had a day. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this weekend. I feel like it's been a long one. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys. I just wanted to like, is there a list like my teeth? No, we're good. Going. We're gonna get a pot going. While that's going, we're gonna get a hello.
Man down. I usually like to get my workout done right in the morning. Was that even English? Stop. Okay, Google. Stop. Through my phone. Did I miss this whole section of Tanner? Nope, that's just my boob. Okay. Oh, okay. Condiments are eggs. These were what? It's like lightning. Thunder. Excuse me. No, no, don't go in there. Oh, okay. 